Yesterday, we got more context into why Aturatu wasn't able to join Team Finland in Edmonton Red Deer at the World Junior Championships. So let's talk about what exactly went on with the decision making process. Yesterday was Yukonut's first game back since their uh, league imposed COVID quarantine. They won 2-1 against Karpat, which is great for a number of reasons, mainly for, at least for our sake, Aturatu putting up a helper, beating his old team. Uh, it's great for the team itself, for Yukonut. They're now in 8th place, which seems kind of low, but there's a 4-point gap between Karpat, who's in 3rd, and Yukonut, who's in 8th again. But Yukonut's got 2 games in hand. So, and it's three points for a win at the Liga level. So, a bunch of good stuff there from for Yukurut. But let's not focus on the win per se. We're here to talk about Aturatu and why he wasn't able to join his, his teammates in Edmonton Red Deer for the 2022 World Junior Championship. Well, he spoke to Finnish media yesterday and said, I had COVID. He was positive. He had COVID. And so that's why he couldn't go. We already knew that they had a COVID issue there, right? Like they had their quarantine, a bunch of players tested positive. We just weren't sure who. Well, Aturatu said that he was one of them. He was symptom free, mind you, but still, he still couldn't join the team. It's a frustrating situation, right? The line in the sand, and I'm using air quotes here deliberately, was December 15th. Teams were supposed to get there in the Edmonton Red Deer bubble for December 15th. After that, couldn't join. But we saw flexibility with that. Canada showed up late. There are a few other players that showed up a little bit later. So Team Finland made an application or a, at least an argument to the IIHF and to the Alberta Health Ministry to say, like, why can't our boy join us a little bit later like these other examples? Team Finland didn't have a final answer on Aturatu before December 24th. That's when they found out he could not come. That doesn't leave a whole lot of time from the time that they got that decision, even if it was a positive decision, as in he can join, to the first game of the tournament being December 26th. There's two days there. He's going to have to fly from Finland to Edmonton. That's a long flight. And then I would still assume have to isolate for at least a day or so. Even though he just came over COVID, right? He just battled COVID. He should have the antibodies. He shouldn't be bringing a new infection in. But I'm sure he's still going to have to isolate for a couple of days before joining them. So like the timing would have been all screwed up. And so I think that's why the IIHF and Alberta were like, now we're good. It's not going to happen. It's a little bit too late. Whereas these other teams and other players joined a little bit earlier than Aturatu did. Now, is this a net negative? No. It's like I said in the first video when we found out he wasn't going. He's still playing at the legal level. And that's really good, right? He's playing against men. Sure enough, it's not a best on best tournament where he gets to test his medal against, you know, first overall picks like Connor Bedard or Shane Wright or against top end defensemen like Jake Sanderson. Uh, he's still, though, playing against a higher quality or a high quality opposition, which is men at the league level, one of the top pro leagues in the world. And he's doing well, right? With the assist that he got against Karpat, he's now up to 14 points in 13 games for Yukurut. In his last 10, he's got 9 points, 3 goals, 6 assists. He's doing very well playing against men in a top end league. So, for a developmental perspective, we're still good. It would have been nice to see him play at the World Junior Championship for the first time in two years, but it is what it is. There's still something to gain from where he is now. He's not just going to go back at home and sit and twiddle his thumbs. He's still playing, and he's still playing well, and that's all you want to see from an Islander's perspective. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. If you have not subscribed yet, hit the button. And if you have, thank you, thank you, thank you.